today we're going to create a reusable TV on and off effect and the end result is going to look like this. To get started we're going to create a new composition by clicking here and for this example we're going to use 1080p, a frame rate of about 30 and a duration of 1 second, then click OK. Then we're going to make a new black colored solid, I'm going to name it black layer, then click OK and I'm going to make it start at the 15th frame of this composition. Then we're going to make another new black colored solid, name it grainy TV, click OK, then go to effects and presets, search for add grain and drag it onto the grainy TV layer. Then we're going to change the viewing mode to final output, increase the intensity to 8 and change the color to monochromatic. Then open the grainy TV layer, go to transform, Go to frame number 12 in our composition, click on the stopwatch to add a new keyframe on the opacity and change the value to 0% and then at frame number 15 change the opacity to 100% Then go to frame number 16 and create a new keyframe for the scale. Go to frame number 19, click here and change the scale to 90 and 10%. And finally go to frame number 22 and change the scale to 0 and 0%. Zero then we're going to go to layer, layer styles and add a color overlay. Click here on the color overlay and change the color to white. Then at frame number 16 change the opacity to 0%. Add a keyframe by clicking on the stopwatch. Go to frame number 22 and change the opacity to 100% and then double click on the rectangle tool to add a new mask. Click here. Go to frame number 18 and add a keyframe on the mask feather. Then go to frame number 19 and change the mask feather to 2000 and 2000. And then click here to add a motion blur on the grainy TV. And now if we play that back it will look like this. Now we're going to hide all these settings. Click up here, right click down here and import a TV sound from our computer. If you don't know how to get your own TV sound, read the description of this video and I'll tell you how I got mine. Then we can drag the TV sound down here and expand the information to see the waveform of the audio and then you can just move the audio to the right place so it fits together with the visuals. To save this composition and use it for other projects, click on the composition, go to File, Dependencies, Collect Files, have everything selected as it is here and click Collect. I'm going to name this TV Effect and save it. Now I am in a new After Effects project and I want to import the TV effect that we created. I'm going to right click here, go to Import, File, and here you see the content of the TV Effect folder we generated before. Choose this After Effects project and import it. And then because this project that I'm working on is in 25 FPS, I'm going to go to our TV composition and change the frame rate to 25. And then I'm going to drag it down here, duplicate it by clicking Command D and drag one of the two to the end of this composition. Now to turn our TV off effect into a TV on effect, we're going to right click on that layer, go to Time and click Time Reverse Layer. Now the TV off effect is reversed and it will look like a TV on effect. And if I click play it will look like this. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to Fast After Effects tutorials.